so now we've done a couple couple of things with row reduction right we've done um, solutions to um, systems of equations right and we've done um, inverting a matrix right so you might think that maybe I can use this um, matrix inverse to solve the system of equations and you would be absolutely correct um, you can and so what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you that uh, right now um, using the following system of equations uh, 2x minus y plus z is equal to 7 3x plus y plus 2z is equal to, wait for it, 6. And minus x minus y plus 3z is equal to 3. Okay? So um, those are the things that we'd like to look at. Um, and we just like to find its solution. Find the solution of the system of equations. That seems perfectly reasonable to me. That's the sort of thing we like to do, right? Um, so when we do this, we say, okay, I'd like to make this into a matrix A, right? Um, and that matrix is 2, minus 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, uh, minus 1, minus 1, 3. Okay? simple enough and then I want to be able to take that and I want to find the um, inverse matrix and then I'll multiply that by this row vector here um, I'm not sure what they call it in your book uh, let's call it y right seven six three so we find this a inverse multiplied by that and oh, we should have our solutions okay so um, that's what, how we're going to do it but to do that, the first thing we have to do is find the inverse, right? And we'll do it in the way that we just I, we just did in the last video I made, um, which is by row reduction. So we write our in, remember we write our um, matrix down here: two minus one one, three one two, minus one minus one three. And we make that equal, or we uh, not make that equal, but we pair that with a nice um, in identity matrix, right? And the whole idea is we make this into the identity matrix with the claim that this will be the um, inverse matrix, right? And as we go about that, we have to make some decisions like who to get rid of. Right, We're going to have to get rid of get rid of some somebody. In the end, we want um, one 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 zero 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 zero. So let's try to keep that guy. He's right in the right place. He's the right thing in the right place. So let's just keep him. All right, and then add this guy to this guy, and add that guy to that guy, which will zap out these minus ones. That seems like the easiest path right now, path of least resistance. Maybe there's something cleverer, but. Clever doesn't really always help work. Um, so, so with some things, just do what seems seems easiest now. So three plus two, that's five. One plus minus one, that's zero. Two plus one, that's three. Okay. Then zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. Zero plus zero is zero. We're running into no obstacles so far. Um, now we can just replace this. We have no reason to change it yet. Then we come down this way. Three plus minus one is two. One plus minus one is zero. Uh, two plus three is five. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus zero is one. Zero plus one is one. So that's our first step. Uh, next step, we come through and we do some similar stuff. Some similar stuff. <laughs> um, what should we do? Well, 
If I want to get rid of everything in here, I'm going to need sort of a common um, denominator sort of deal, right? Um, and probably the best way to do that is say, okay, well, what's the lowest number I can get? So two times, okay, 15, uh, five, okay, six, 10, six and 10, probably the lowest number is 30. So I'm just going to multiply each one of these um, lines by uh, the product of these other two. So let's start with this guy. I want this guy to end up being 30, so I have to multiply by 3 times 2, which is 6. So we have 30, 0, um, 6 times 3 is 18. Um, this guy we multiply by 10, so we have 30, 10, 20. And this guy we multiply by um, 15, so we have 30, 0, 75. That's a big, big number. Um, and like I said, we multiplied this by 6, so we have 6, 6, 0, uh, 0, 10, 0. This one's 15, 0, 15, 15. So that makes life easy. I can just um, uh, subtract 30 from each one of these, right? So we've got 30, 0, 18 is 6, 6, 0. Uh, let's see, 30 minus 30 is 0. 10 minus 0 is 10, right? 20 minus 18 is 2, 0 minus 6 is um, minus 6, uh, 10 minus 6 is 4, 0 minus 0 is 0. Okay, everything's looking good. Um, so we have 30 minus 30 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, 75 minus 18 is 57. Um, 0 minus 6 is minus 6, 5 minus 6, 15 minus 6 is minus, nine, or is positive 9, positive 9, 15 minus 0 is 15. Okay, that, that's not a fun number, but we'll have to live with it. We can, we can live with that, right? So we'll divide that guy by 57, <laughs> right? We'll divide him by 57, uh, we'll divide him by 2, uh, we'll divide him by 9, I think. 9 will do. No, I'm not sure. 3, 6. Let's divide this, this guy by 6. Okay, so 30 divided by 6 is 5, 0, 18 divided by 6 is 3, 6 and 6 is 1, 1, 0, right? Divide this by 2, we have 0, 5, 1, minus 3, 2, 0. Divide everything here by 57, 0, 0, 1. Oh, that looks good so far. Uh, 57 divided by minus 6 is minus 2 nineteenths. 9 is 3 nineteenths. 15 is 5 nineteenths. Okay, that's not so beautiful. I mean, we love things to be beautiful. That, that doesn't mean we get everything we want, right? Um, so, oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess the next thing to do is to take him and uh, subtract out up, right? Uh, if we do that, we'll get something diagonal at least. And if we have something diagonal, uh, we can easily get something, we can easily turn this, if this is diagonal, we can easily turn everything into a um, identity matrix. So let's do the fun stuff. Okay, so we have to subtract um, three times this from this thing up here. Uh, that makes five zero zero, so that's nice and simple. We're happy with that. Well, we're subtracting three times this, so this is now, um, uh, let's see, three times this is minus six, right? Um, 
Is that true? Uh, 3 times this is minus 6. But we're um, subtracting that, so we're adding 6 to this, which is adding 6 to 19 plus 19. 6 plus 19 is 25, so we have 25 nineteenths. That's okay, actually, because we've got a 5 here. We're pretty pretty happy with that. We'll, we'll live with that. We, we can use it. Okay, so we have minus 9 nineteenths. That's um, 19 nineteenths, so 19 minus 9 is 10. So we have 10 nineteenths. Still, divis that numerator is divisible by 5. We're, 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 we've got something going on. I don't know if it's the most wonderful thing, but we've got something going on. Um, here we have uh, 0 to minus 15 nineteenths, so we're just stuck with minus 15 nineteenths, but again, that guy is divisible by 5. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Trust me. Take a deep breath. We're going to be okay. Okay, so next we have 0, 5, 0. Now we're just subtracting this from that. All right, so we have minus 3 nineteenths plus 2 nineteenths, right? Or 3 times 19 nineteenths. So that's, 20, that's 57 nineteenths minus 2. So we have minus 55 nineteenths. Okay. Um, now we have here 38 minus 3. So 35 nineteenths. And we still have uh, minus 5 nineteenths here. 0, 0, 1, minus 2 nineteenths, 3 nineteenths, 5 nineteenths. Okay, so we want to finish this up by getting our um, identity matrix. Just like that. All right, and now that I have an identity matrix, I can go ahead and, um, well, to get my identity matrix, I need to get these things over here, so I divide by 5. Like I said, here we've got 25 nineteenths, so we have 5 nineteenths, 10 nineteenths goes to 2 nineteenths, minus 15 nineteenths comes to minus 3 nineteenths, right? Over here we have minus 11 nineteenths times 7 nineteenths uh, times minus 1 nineteenth uh, and now we still have minus 2 nineteenths, 3 nineteenths, 5 nineteenths. Okay, so that's pretty good. That gives us our inverse matrix 1 nineteenth times um, 5 nineteenths 2 19th, or 5, 2, excuse me, I've already gotten rid of the, I pulled out the 19th, so I just have 5, 2, minus 3. Uh, that's the whole point, is I want to have nice round numbers in here, minus 11, 7, minus 1, minus 2, 3, 5. Okay, and so now the question is, is uh, how do I turn that into uh, my solution. My solution is that x is some vector x and it's a to the minus 1 times y, right? So that's 1 19th, 5, 2, minus 3, minus 11, 7, minus 1, minus 2, 3, 5, times this 7, 6, 3 deal, right? So always good to see what something like that gives us. Um, I should have been using meters this whole time. Uh, C'est la vie. C'est la vie, right? Okay, so I have um, 19, 1 19th times uh, 5 times 7, which is 35, 2 times 6, which is uh, 12 minus 9, right? Um, which is 1 19th times 38. Um, so we have minus 11 times 7, which is minus 77, plus 7 times 6, which is 42, minus 3, which is minus 7, 42, 
minus 38, right? Right, okay. And then we have minus 2 times 7, which is minus 14, plus 18, plus 15, which would equal 19. All right, so we have um, our answer as 2 minus 2, 1, which is good because we actually did this earlier and that was the answer we got. So, a useful thing, finding this inverse um, for solving these for solving these solutions to equations and things like that. Um, very good. I think I'll see you soon. Bye.